Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Beat Scholar from Modalex. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And also, if you would like to participate to the giveaway to have a chance to own a copy of Beat Scholar, then please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. And please remember to also collect um, your code. Um, if you want, and you find the name of the winners inside the description of the video after roughly two days as per instruction. And you will see also that the title of the video will change. Uh, he, I will remove the word uh, or the words around the giveaway when the competition is closed. So it's actually easy to recognize. Okay. So we are inside uh, Logic Pro for iPad and uh, I have added BitScholar as uh, an AUV3 instance as you can see let's double click on it and let's maximize the screen so that we have a better view of the app now i should start saying that the ios um, app or ipad app is the same as the um, app on the desktop version which works as an auv3 but also as a standalone version is fully featured as the desktop version but of course being an ipad and therefore an app on, an, on ios it works slightly different because it uses touch controls okay but of course as you can see you can um, use it quite effectively as well using your mouse as i'm seeing uh, showing them and demonstrating in this uh, um, tutorial now for this first video i'm going to give you an introduction um, to the app. I'm not going to go through control by control. This is a get it started video just to give you a sense of what it does and what you can do and some of the features. But then I will continue as usual with a series of tutorials because it really deserves it. So it can be instantiated as uh, an, um, an audio source like in this case, but it can also be instantiated as a media effect. So that is quite interesting as well. Again, in this first video, we are going to use it as an audio source, which is practically the equivalent to having a rhythm or drum machine, but a different one with a different take. So first of all, let's uh, play some of the presets because they are quite original and quite nice. And they start to show you the ability of what the app can do. So as you can see, and uh, I will give you some explanation as we go through playing some presets, you have a middle section here, and uh, these are steps, as you can see, and you have, you can already see that there is, you have one part here and another part here, okay, this, it gives you a sense of different bars, so different tracks here, okay, and of course at the bottom you have uh, um, uh, the different drum kit which you can fire if you click on it. And at the top, you have some of the controls as well here between the um, sequencer view, the tracks view here, and you, and the, the drum pieces here, or the pads, you have additional controls. So let's change the preset. This is a nice preset because it shows you between one bar to the next that the time signature here has changed two 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 four and two eight and the four um you will have the effect of increasing the tempo or of course the opposite depending on the time signature changes. You can also say that at each step, um, this is step, this is another step, you can play or subdivide that step to play different type of drum kit pieces, which are uh, highlighted by colors. You can see this color here, okay? That one, that color there correspond to this drum uh, kit piece, etc., etc. Let's move to another preset. You can solo um, here, you can mute, okay? You can add tracks and you can remove tracks as well. Really nice, be careful of course when you remove tracks that you will delete your part of your presets. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is an interesting preset. I start to show you the amount of slices you can do um, uh, at each step, as you can see here. And then you can fulfill each particular slice with a different drum kit pace. And therefore, you can achieve a really unique rhythm uh, per step. But let's continue to the next one. Again, this is another interesting preset, Some more tracks, as you can see, the four uh, different steps represented by the circles get smaller, um, of course. But also, I like to highlight this track here. You can see that this particular um, drum kit is actually on the right hand side for this step and on this one is on the left hand side and you can play like that to create for example syncopated effects which are really nice Again, I really like this one because um, you can use a different subdivision here to actually have a quick firing of uh, this particular sample here and then a full firing here because you don't have slices on these steps which create that tune to tune effect. Really nice. <laughs> And you can also start to hear that uh, there is reverb in some of the pieces because indeed this is a sequence of view, but you can go also on the sound view and on the sound view for each of the drum kit pieces, you can adjust, for example, your cutoff, your resonance, you can add distortion, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you can do a lot. But let's go back to the sequence. It can get quite complex, as you can see, with so many tracks and so many steps. And um, um, but that is one of the key features. Uh, from far, it almost looks like a flag, and it started to get interesting with the different colors on the screen. So really unique. Okay, so lots to go through. You can have a lot of fun. Click on a hold here, um, or I should say click in this case only, and then you can select your factory banks. Okay, you can go through different presets. As you can see, lots of them, including some for tutorials, and then some saving option, uh, option to enable your MIDI channel, um, and different and option to enable different part of the application. This is one of those applications as well where you can click, like in this case, and open a, a menu, but uh, you can click and hold on a step, and then you have to hold to actually have that uh, menu. It's the equivalent, um, sorry, to have that menu open, and it's the equivalent of the desktop of clicking your right uh, mouse button, okay? You have that context menu appearing, and here is you can copy and paste, fill, Marrow, you can slice, etc., etc. So it's it's really nice. Now let's um, initialize a preset. I really love when the application have an init preset because uh, it helps. So uh, let me give you a bit of a taste of how you go and start uh, compose with this fantastic app. So you are in, you need to select your mode here. So you are in drum mode. Then you select a kit, kit paste, and then you start to click. And you it's like coloring, right? Like so, and then press play. Really nice and simple. Go to the snare. Play. Okay, then let's say I click here to copy the bar. I have two bars. Really nice. I go to the second bar, click and hold. This is another way to use control and move up and down. And then you can change the time signature. So in this case, I've gone to 4 8. So it will accelerate on this bar. And it is already starting to sound really nice. Now let me demonstrate how 
you can quickly slice, you click on slice and click on a step, click on a hold to move up and down. And you can change the subdivision. When you're finished on that, please remember to go to the drum mode and then click again, for example, on another sample you want to replace with. Like in this case, we have two kick drums fired consecutively. In some cases, in other applications, this may be applied with Russian, but I like uh, better this uh, slicing um, option as well. And of course, you can really go really deep in terms of how you slice uh, things. So again, let's go further. On this one, we're going to further subdivide it. Okay, so slice, and then we're going to have, for example, odd divisions, and again, then have a little bit more fun. But again, there's no limit. And it's quite interesting in this case because I left a rest here, so there is not a drum kit piece, and therefore the rhythm is actually different, the feel is different. So you can use a odd number of slices, not only even number of slices to create a, a different rhythm feeling. Okay, really nice. You can also change velocity, which is actually quite nice. So let's first slice uh, this snare here, like in five different parts. And then let's go back to drums and fill in with um, all snares. And then we go to velocity and then click and hold on one slice and then change the velocity. You can see it will change the color. Okay. In the case, it will change the velocity that is used to trigger the particular uh, sample. Really nice, really, really nice. Other things you can do, for example, you can mirror. Click on mirror and then you can see this is mirroring, you know, horizontally. It's really nice. Another interesting feature you can copy, you can um, uh, paste as well. Um, the other things that um, um, you can also do is, uh, as I mentioned uh, during the demonstration of the preset, you can go to the um, uh, sound part and you can add effects. So for example, let's select the snare here and uh, add some um, reverb. Or let's select the drum kick and add some distortion. Or change the cutoff frequency. So this is a nice section when you can really adjust your sound as you desire. And um, back again to the sequence, I want to show you also the ability, for example, of um, creating some random patterns, really, per step. So here's where you choose in which uh, a drum you want to use, for example, all of them, or clear and select only some of them. Like so, for example, let's choose these two. Okay, maybe, no. Maybe that one. Okay, close the hi-hat. You can select the bit sl slicing, how the chance and spacing for the step triggering and the velocity range. And when you are done, just click on a step. Really nice. You can see it's um, a different for every time I click. And of course, you can also define your own preset here. Really nice. And then if you click here, you go you go also to the context menu to actually select the different presets for what you want to create for each of the steps inside the tracks, inside each of the bars. So, and then click on here and to um, close that view, you have a view by patterns as well, pattern A, you can create a different patterns, or you can click here, you go to bars view, and it show you here the two different bars that you have on the screen, which you can further uh, customize or manage. Uh, patterns level, you can change the subdivisions here, undo, redo. So 
lots of different options swing which is really nice as well so let's try a little bit you just adjust the click and hold and then adjust it One other thing I think I miss is the ability to double click and reset it down to zero. So in this case, at the moment, you have to manually um, move either your finger as you're holding or your mouse cursor and holding the button, uh, the mouse button, and therefore trying to go back to zero, um, for example. Okay. So another thing as well, which I really like, which comes from the desktop, click here where it says plus and minus. So you have it uh, vertically and horizontally, click and hold, and you can change the zoom in which is really nice as well. Okay, a nice um, a nice touch, of course, and then uh, you can use the bars here to um, move to the corresponding location as you desire. Um, other things as well that I really like is like this one. I have selected a pad and I click on, on and um, hold on one area and then I move. Uh, of course, if you hold too long, you have the context menu, but if you don't, if the start move as you hold the... Uh, um, the uh, your mouse button or your finger on the touch screen you move to the right you can color it's like painting um different steps which makes it really really easy to for to for example create a series of hi-hats uh, as an example uh for your drum bit okay i'm going to stop here this was just an introductory uh, video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you agree it's really a nice way uh, to actually create or compose your rhythms from modalics Please check it out, Ace Beat Scholar. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.